Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. We're doing a phone recording today just because my computer is dead currently and I don't have my charger up in my room. However, we have multiple areas here that we're watching. Mainly we are watching this system right here which has potential to be a major hurricane upon landfall. So right now I'm putting landfall anywhere from around the area where our last system, Francine, made landfall near, I can't remember what the city name is at the moment, but from there, anywhere over to, I'd say, Tampa. So, Panama City, Tallahassee, Pensacola, Mobile, Gulfport, New Orleans, and Baton Rouge, and Ring Hill, Tampa, um, Cedar Key, Horseshoe Beach. You guys all need to be watching this system very carefully here. So, this currently has a 40% chance of forming in the next two days, and a 80% chance in the next seven days so overall the formation chances of this thing are very high and this has not been designated as invest 97l yet however it will soon be designated by national hurricane center so this is our second disturbance our first one is over here associated with a tropical wave so we'll talk about this one first, and then we'll jump on over to our other system. Then I will jump over to National Hurricane Tour, because there is also an update there as well on our system in the Gulf. So this is actually our third system. Where's the first one? I don't... I do not see where the other area is but this is apparently the third area eastern and central tropical atlantic a tropical wave near the west coast of africa is expected to move westward during the next couple of days environmental conditions could support some gradual development of the system and a tropical depression could form during the middle to latter part of the week while the wave moves westward across the eastern and central tropical atlantic then once again, as I said, formation chance to 40 hours low, near 0%. And the formation chance to 7 days is medium, 50%. So now let's jump on over to our system over here. So as a, this is our Northwestern Caribbean Sea and Gulf Mexico. The Sorni showers and thunderstorms located over the Northwestern Caribbean Sea and portions of Central America are associated with a broad area of low pressure. Environmental conditions appear favorable for development of the system. A tropical depression or tropical storm is likely to form during the next few days of the moving northward across the northwestern Caribbean Sea and Gulf of Mexico. Regardless of development, the disturbance is expected to produce heavy rains over portions of Central America in the next several days. Interest in the Northwestern Caribbean, Yucatan Peninsula, and Mexico, and Western Cuba should closely monitor the progress of this feature. Later this week, the system is forecast to move generally northward across the Gulf of Mexico, and interest in the northern and northeastern Gulf of Mexico should monitor the northeastern Gulf Coast should also monitor the progress of the system. Formation chance to 40 hours is medium, 40%, and the formation chance to 7 days is high at 80%. So, we are going to jump over to the National Hurricane Center's Twitter page now, because they have issued key messages here for this system. So, this is the 1 p.m. Central Daylight Time Sunday key messages on the sermons in the Northwestern Caribbean. Watches and warnings could be required for portions of Western Cuba and the Yucatan Peninsula as early as Monday. Interest in the Florida Panhandle and the west coast of Florida should monitor the latest updates at hurricanes.gov. 
then this is our key messages here. One, interest in the Northwestern Caribbean, Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, and Western Cuba should closely monitor the progress of the sermons. Watches or warnings could be required for portions of the Western Western Cuba and the Yucatan Peninsula as early as tomorrow. And two, the system is forecast to strengthen while moving northward over the Gulf of Mexico, bringing potential for impacts from storm surge, heavy rainfall, and strong winds to portions of the northern and northeastern Gulf Coast, including the Florida Panhandle and portions of the Florida West Coast later this week. Although it is too soon to specify the exact location and magnitude of these impacts, Residents in these areas should monitor the latest forecast updates and ensure that they have their hurricane plan in place. Also, I will say if you live along the Panhandle, just leave now. Just leave now. This is according to what the models have. And let me pull it up on Tropical Tidbits for you guys. So this is our system right here in the that we're tracking right in the middle of your screen there. That's our system. It rapidly intensifies. It gets to a 969 hurricane here. It comes a hurricane while it's crossing between Cuba and the Yucatan. It crosses into the Gulf. And it wants slobbery of the panhandle. That is a major hurricane. A 935 millibar hurricane is a major hurricane. Now, this is not a forecast. This is just one model. This is the 12Z model run of the GFS here. But that's very interesting to see what that happening. Then we have another system that forms in the Gulf that makes landfall in the same area. Less than... That makes landfall on the 27th. That makes landfall on the 8th. So about a 10 to 11 day difference here is when GFS has two systems making landfall in almost the same area here. We also have a... Tropical wave that moves off Africa, that becomes a fish storm, a strong fish storm as well. Now, this is far out. This is not going to happen. Probably won't happen. However, we need to watch that. Um, this is our Invest 76L, 00. We're not going to talk about it. But that's our other system here. Um, and we have systems in the eastern pacific as well but they're likely not going to do anything so we're not going to talk about them our main focus as always is this system that's hitting that's going to impact the u.s with that being said guys that'll be it for the video today make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more top weather outlooks we will, depending on when landfall is expected, I will be live covering that. Once again, depending on when that is, we should know tomorrow. Sometime tomorrow when either this thing is likely to become a tense tropical cyclone tomorrow. We'll just say that. Tomorrow is the expected formation time for this to become... Potential Tropical Cyclone 9. But as always, I'll see you next time. Peace out.